What's going on everybody? I'm tired and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem 7 randomized Hector Hard Mode playthrough. We're going on to chapter 18 today, and I realized that I completely forgot to show off what Ninian and Bartre even look like in battle, so I'm bringing them along right here, just temporarily. They're not going to be joining us on the actual map, mostly because they're both really bad. I really like her sprite though! Oh no! Why couldn't I have actually... <sighs> Why couldn't I use her? Why do you have to have 5% strength growth, man? That looks clean as fu- oh my lord. I do enjoy that. Oh, I didn't turn on Partray though. Hold on. That Ninian sprite was fresh! That could have been like a real sprite. Okay, here's your boy Bartray. Eh, not bad, not bad. He would have been fun to use too, but that base speed. That base speed, man. He's really strong though. Hang in there, buddy. Alright, so let's actually play the map. I basically know everything that I want to do on this first turn. I really felt like I had to have a solid plan here on this one, because if I don't... Okay, thank you so much, Nino. I guess it's a 57. Fair enough, fair enough. If I don't have a solid plan, though, I feel like I'm going to be overwhelmed really, really quick. Let's just take a look at the map real quick. So there's mercenaries right off the bat. These guys aren't actually here on Elliewood mode, so that makes a pretty big difference, especially with all the growth rate increase. Just look at these guys. They're already starting to get pretty scary. But the biggest difference is that now, on Hector mode, you have to deal with these suicide Pegasus Knights who have really, really low speed. Just about anybody can kill them. But that's the trick to it, right? Because you're gonna kill them, that means they can swarm one character really easily. And with Steel Lances and 20 attack power? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. So I need to clear out as many enemies as I possibly can. Uh, as quickly as I possibly can. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be overwhelmed. And even though somebody like Javar might not be in that much danger, and other characters as well might not be in that much danger. I definitely have to think about my weaker units as well. Because I have to bring somebody like Nils on this map. Because there's a ton of things that I want to steal. There's a billion and a half things that I want to steal. Okay, level up for Florina though. Level up for Florina though. Hit point, strength, skill, defense. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Who said Jafar was the better flyer though? That's all I want to know. Uh, we're going to start with our little stealing spree by taking this pure water here. I want to get a couple of these. I think I can get two, maybe three if I'm lucky. This guy has one. This guy has one. There's one there. And there's one there. So there's four that I can potentially steal. I'm looking to get at least two. And then, of course, Zoldam, who has the guiding ring. Gotta get that because I'm going to need that in order to promote Hawkeye later down the road. That guy drops a flux. That's not that important. But this is important, too. The Elysian Whip. And because I have two flyers that are currently unpromoted, I need to get my hands on that. Uh, you know, maybe if I would have rigged speed or something for Hector, he could have gotten this, but yeah, <laughs> it's way too lucky that I got Nils. Having to pass up on those would have been a huge problem. Especially with Zoldan. Did you guys see those stats? I know I think I showed them in the last part. Hit points, luck, resistance. Oh, come on, Hawkeye. Come on, Hawkeye, where's your magic? Yeah, it's really lucky, and Nils can just barely do this. I think if you have equal speed, it would still work. But this guy's already rocking 18 points. That's so crazy to me. Zoldan was always a pretty scary boss, though. If you do defeat him, the map will end early. So you don't have to necessarily survive the whole 11 turns. I'm probably going to kill him early. Most likely going to be killing him early. I guess, I guess it depends on where I stand by the time I get over to him. Because if I'm about to get destroyed from multiple directions, yeah, you bet your ass I'm going to end the map early. Now I want to move Harkin here and have him equip the Devil Axe, which is of course a little bit risky just because it's the Devil Axe. But if I do that, I can kill the Northern Pegasus Knight, who has nothing that I'm really interested in. And then I can draw in the other one with Fiora. Oh no, Nils. Oh no, Nils. I thought he would be safe out here because he has really good evasion. It's 50 plus by default, and it's only going to get better if I can somehow level him up. I'd really like to get him at least one level though, because if I can max out his speed, oh my gosh, Nino, not like this! She's way too good. She's way too good. All I'm really looking for on her is like one more point of strength. 
Uh, but with Nils, if I can get him a level up, that'd be fantastic, because if I can max out his speed, then I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the game. And the only real way I'm going to be able to max his speed, or to level him up at all. Okay, here we go. This is the decider. And he pulls through. He pulls through. That's my dude, Harkin. Uh, as, as I was starting to say, sorry, the Devil X always makes me tense up. It didn't backfire at all on me in FE6, but this is a whole different ballpark, guys. But with Nils, this is really my only opportunity to level him up. Otherwise, he's going to have to get all of his experience just by stealing. And that's going to take a while. There's plenty of shamans, though, and he actually does all right, because you can see there, he takes very little from them. Thanks to his fantastic base, what, 10 resistance? And they don't even have a good chance of hitting him, so he's actually decent enough against them. Uh, I just have better options. That's what it really comes down to. I just have better options. Now, I could have just left Jafar out here to do his thing on his own. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Whoa. 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 I want to say that that was in my favor to survive. No, it certainly was because the two shamans had less than 50 and the archer had less than 40 as we saw. Really, it was only the mercenary who had a good shot, which is very impressive. It's very impressive that the mercenary had sub 60. Even somebody like Nino isn't that good at dodging. But as I was saying, I could have just thrown Jafar out here and he probably would have cleaned up all of these guys, I would say. But the thing is, I really do want those Pure Waters. Pure Waters are a fantastic item. They're a great item. They're like a barrier step that you can use at will, but it costs you a turn with that unit, which is really the only downside. But given the increased power of enemies, I definitely think, first of all, I definitely think that I want to take out this guy or the mage, potentially. No, 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 this guy for sure. This guy for sure. If I can clean out the archers, then my flyers are basically free to do whatever. And we do add a girl Fiora. Oh, and a level up as well. Let's see it. Hit point strength, speed, defense, resist. <laughs> oh, baby. This is a good map so far. This is a good map so far. Now, here's the big trick. Uh, to finish that pure water thought, it, it takes a turn to use them, yes, but seeing as enemies are so much more powerful. Well, this guy's not that much. 14, 14. Ah, but here we go. This Nosferatu guy has a whopping 20. And it's only getting worse from here, guys. It's only getting worse from here. So 7 resistance at the cost of 1 turn with a character could be really nice later down the line. So I want to get as many of those as I can. But here is the trick right here. Oh, let's steal this Elysian whip while I'm thinking about it. Those Pegasus Knights are going to swarm me. The way I'm set up... That's a bit of a risk. Let's just use the Iron Axe. Yeah, that's much safer. I don't think I'll need Harkin in the south just yet, if at all. And one more level up. We're getting all kinds of level ups. Speed, perfect level up. Do not care, perfect level up. That might push him out of range of being doubled by the likes of, say, an archer. Mm, maybe not. It depends on the weapons, really. As I was saying, though, this is the big trick right here. Because these Pegasus Knights don't care about the terrain. Now, they can't actually pass through this. Which it might throw you off a little bit. You might think that they can fly over, but they actually can't. So I'm probably... Well, what I could do... Is set up some kind of wall over here on the left-hand side. I think that should be a good place to start. Uh, Jafar actually can take hits still. He actually can take hits still. And if I move him here, then Hawkeye can run in and use a med staff. Which will put us not quite back to full, but close enough. Close enough. Just barely hanging on. Just barely hanging on. Him getting resistance uh, whenever he got it is pretty handy. I'm pretty sure he started with seven. So that actually makes the difference here. Neato. Now, with this. This could be a problem if I get hit. It's only a 58. On the other hand, I still do have Legault available. Let's see. Heal up Jafar. Move here. Dance for Hawkeye. Heal up Florina. Hawkeye can survive the Pegasus Knights. He won't retaliate, so only one can attack him, and it would end up here. But if 
I do that, Legault will be exposed. Legault has 11 speed. These mercenaries are so fast, I tell you. He could get doubled. Weight of 10. Constitution of 9. So no, this works out. This works out. I'm I'm positive Legault can take at least one hit. There's just no way. Unless he gets critical, which he shouldn't. So worst case scenario, I can still come out on top of this. Yeah. Thank God for Hawkeye's meaty HP pool. He has almost 40 HP as a healer. Which has come in handy more than once. We dodge anyway, so I don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about that, but it turns out that that wasn't much of a risk, which was basically the point I wanted to make there. Now, if I use the Lance Reaver, I can take out this here mercenary. And this should discourage the Pegasus Knights from swarming Nino. Uh, Florina, Jafar, and Fiora are all pretty good at taking on the Pegasus Knights, as is. So I don't really think I'm worried about them too much. Any one of them should be able to get the kill. And since, oh, it looks like Hawkeye actually is in range of one Pegasus Knight, even the way I've moved him. So either way, Hawkeye or Legolt's gonna have to take a hit. I'll just let it be Legolt, and I will dance for Hawkeye. Yeah, that sounds good. Alternatively, I could have uh, potentially used Nenny's Grace on Florina, I guess. Because these guys still do hit her pretty hard. She only has 10 defense. If everything hit her, she might go down. Perhaps I've made a mistake. Let's trade off the hand axe, actually. I am going to get attacked by a mercenary with her. Uh, heal up Fiora. Heal up Fiora. She's going to have Weapon Triangle on these Pegasus Knights, but a stray hit could be bad, so... We want to keep her topped off. And Jafar has so much defense that I really don't think anything will attack him unless they absolutely have to. Wow, I'm surprised we hit that. Pretty good luck. Good dodge, good dodge. Hmm, yeah, I'm thinking maybe Ninny's Grace on Florina would have been a better move. This seems like a decent enough strategy for this map, though. Things are going alright, things are going alright. Nino takes a hit. But there's no way that the Pegasi can even... They, can, they can't even dream to hit her right now. There's no way. The Gulp making a great distraction. Ooh, we eat a 50. Well, it is the definition of a coin flip. Can't complain too much, I guess. Fiora's getting some good experience, though, here. Some very good experience, for sure. Just because I have Pent doesn't mean that I don't want to use Fiora. And I'll be honest, that's mostly favoritism. I just so rarely use Fiora. Like, as an actual unit. I mean, I will use her, I will field her, because flyers are good on certain maps. When you're just trying to cover a large distance, or if there's mountains, or just really bad terrain, or that kind of thing. But I don't usually level her up. Not like this, anyways. Just because whenever I play Hector hard mode, I usually do the Lin story mode first. And if you do the Lin story mode, then Florina's pretty much the only flyer that you need. And I shouldn't say that. Not to say the other flyers are bad by any means. It's just that she's really, really good when you play Lin story. So I rarely actually train Fiora, you know? Let's see, this guy had 1 HP. I think she'll be good, though. No way! No way. Oh, that's such a huge risk. Alright, let's lay it out there. Let's lay it out here, boys. There we go, Nils. So not only has he stolen two very valuable items so far, with two more yet to steal, but he also is going to shank a mercenary for a kill. That's some good stuff right there. With this, let's see. If I kill this mercenary with Nino, I can dance for her and then kill this one too. Can I kill this one or do I have to Lance Reeve or what? No, I can take him out with just a plain old steel sword, so we're gonna do that. We'll start with Nino. Nice dodge, girl. Nice dodge. Still thinking about what I want to do with Fiora though. Oh, another reason I kind of wanted to use her is because she will be able to use the Armods on the last map and there's no telling if I'm going to get any Shaman or anything like that. So I'm going to need somebody to use the Luna. I mean, I guess there's a Thos, right? 
I guess there's always a those, but I wasn't entirely clear on how he works in this. I, I know you guys said he could only be Athos, but I'm not sure. Does that mean he will only ever spawn in the last map like you can't get him early? Good god, Nino, just casually dodge a 67, why don't you? Uh, does that mean he can only spawn in the last map? Or does that mean that he can spawn wherever, but he will only ever be Athos? I just I wasn't entirely sure about that. Uh, let's see, I guess... Well, for sure, Jafar and Florina can take out this guy. There's no way, yeah. He took that hit from uh, from Fiora, which is pretty useful here. That means I shouldn't have to use the Steel Ants with Florina. Which is good, because her skill has just been biting me in the ass this entire playthrough. Come on, Florina, get it together! Yeah, I still could have done that even if I missed, but it would be a little bit more sketchy. 89, and we connect. Nice. So now I would say we're looking pretty strong. We're looking pretty strong right now. No Pegasus Knights have respawned just yet. Oh! We got him. We got him, boys. Now, I think I mentioned this in the Fire Emblem 6 playthrough, but this is worth talking about, I think. It's a neat little trick you can use uh, due to the way that the enemy AI works in this game. So, because this archer is right here, and because this Myrmidon can move right behind this archer, and he will, this archer is never going to move from this spot. Because enemies with one range will always move before enemies with two range when you're playing the Game Boy Advance games. Meaning this guy will never be able to attack whoever's right here. So I can use that to my advantage probably. But I, I can really stick anybody right here. And they would be completely safe at this point. So I might have to do that. I just might. Now, here is a bit of an issue. <laughs> here is a slight issue, I would say. I can attack this guy, yes. But I have a hunch that this will leave Fiora low enough. She has 4 resistance, 17 attack. And Nils only has 10 resistance. Yeah, if I get hit... Oh, of course, of course. Here we go. This'll work. I can attack with the Hand Axe with Fiora, so that I don't have to take the damage. She has 4 resistance versus 17 attack, I'll live on 1 HP. Lots of close calls here, lots of close calls here. But now I can use Hawkeye to heal Nils instead. Strength, speed, luck, res, oh my friggin god. Somebody stop her, hold her back, wait, Pent who? Pent who? What? <laughs> What's going on? Now I really don't want to lose. I really don't want to lose. If I lose now, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> These level ups are just too fantastic. And everything just came up my way this run. Yeah. And she got resistance too, so he does even less. And she dodges anyways, because she's the greatest to ever do it, so it's like... I don't know what I really expected. Yeah. And I'm thinking axes are a pretty good weapon type here anyways, because lances are really, really strong, and so are the people that use them. So being able to just dodge their attacks like this is really handy. Besides, she's gonna be both... She's gonna be sort of like a mixed tank, right? Because she has that good base defense, and then she's also just gonna get a lot of resistance, not only from leveling up, but I think Hector gets a whopping 5 resistance when he promotes. So Fiora's looking like she might be really solid, in all honesty. The only thing that's going to really hurt is a painfully low uh, speed cap. Painfully low speed cap for sure. But other than that, I mean, she's pretty stacked, <laughs> to be honest. See, this guy does have the Nosferatu. So do I want to heal Nino, or do I want to heal Fiora? Well... If I send Fiora to distract these Pegasus Knights... Yeah, I'll do that. She has more than enough defense, because these ones don't all spawn with Steel Lances. Some of them do, but the two in the middle do not. So they can basically not touch her. Yeah, they do a whopping one point of damage. 
probably get doubled and die as well, so that should be a good move, I think. I'm gonna... Not yet, not yet. With Jafar, we can take Nito, because she's gonna be my boss killer, obviously. Who else would it be, let's be honest. And I can dance for Jafar, get Nino way out here. Let's see where this guy is. I want to draw him in. And then I can have Mills steal from him. So we can drop Nino off, like, right there. Jafar can move here, killing this mage. Hawkeye can move about, like, Mia. Heal Nino back to full. Gotta keep her topped off. Gotta remember, even though she is technically at an advantage against Zoldan, uh, he's really, really powerful. Let's see. Now, I could just kill the archer, in all honesty, because I'm thinking Florina can tank. Florina should be able to tank pretty nicely here. The Pegasus Knights might come after her, but I should be able to pick off enough of them with uh, Fiora. Oh, I can't forget to do this now. I almost did. Gotta stock up on some supplies. This is the last chance you get for a while. So we want to buy about five. Five javelins should be good. One steel sword. Perhaps I want to buy a steel axe. It would give Nino something to do when she promotes. Although, what am I saying? I have the devil axe. And it never backfired on Ray, so like, why would it backfire on Nino, right? Yeah, solid logic. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. And I'm gonna move Fiora back, or er, Florina rather, back here. So once again, these enemies are not gonna move because the AI is really dumb, and we're gonna take advantage of that. Now for door keys, let's buy about six. Four, five. Yeah, yeah, let's make it an even six. What I'm really looking at is this med staff, but my funds are so low. My funds are so low. Don't need any magic uh, magic spells, which is pretty nice. I will buy the med staff. I think I still have a goddess icon I can sell. And that's an easy 4,000 right there. Let's check this real quick. Okay, yes. Safe spot for nils. Let's do it. I'm thinking we have this 1-1, one, one, boys. I'm thinking so. Jafar could take a little bit of a beating here, but... I don't need him to kill the boss by any stretch of the imagination. The other, like, the mages aren't gonna gang up on him because one, they can't kill him, and two, he can retaliate. So for sure the Nosferatu guy is gonna attack Nito. And that will allow me to snag that second pure water. I'm only gonna get two, I guess. I don't think the reinforcement shamans actually spawn with them, which, you know, it's whatever. Oh, only 36 accuracy. Nice dodge, Nito. Nice dodge. Yeah, here comes this guy, who Jafar can pretty easily just destroy, let's be honest. It's gonna be a massacre, oh yes. Oh yes, Jafar is so good. His wyvern is starting to grow on me a little bit too. It looked a little bit weird at first, but I kinda like it on second thought. Can Fiora double the Slim Lance one? She actually can? No, that must not be a Slim Lance then. There's no way. No, this is the Slim Lance, and I don't think she would double. Nope, she's not quite fast enough for that. Do I want to give these kills to Florina or Fiora? Decisions, decisions. I think we'll give one to Florina. Yeah, we'll let one of the Pegasus Knights attack Florina on the enemy turn, and we'll take this one out with Fiora right now. Yeah, she's, she put in the finest to work this map. She put in such good work this map. I guess just because of the large number of Lance users who are otherwise kind of annoying. Oh, that's just about perfect. Oh, almost forgot to steal. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Definitely got to do that. So, thank you very much. Nino can move here. And even if she gets... Ooh, wait. No, if she gets hit, she can still kill. But that's not gonna matter, because she's just gonna blow him all the way back. So there you go. What else do we expect from this girl by this point? And now I can just dance for her. Yeah, and then she can kill another. 
I was kind of hoping she would get hit. Oh no, I can still heal Lego. I was gonna say, I wanted her to get hit because I'm trying to level up Hawkeye. <laughs> My dude needs that magic. And since this guy does not have the Nosferatu, I'm just gonna use the Iron Sword. I'll probably end up breaking that Steel Sword over Zoldan's head, which is fine. And she dodges again, and another crit! God! <laughs> I feel like I'm getting so many. Which, truth be told, I probably am. Enemies don't have luck unless they're bosses, so like... Yeah. I noticed that. I thought they just didn't because they were low level, but no, they really just don't have luck to begin with. Which is really, really strange. I'll definitely take it though. That means enemies are going to be less dodgy and less accurate despite the higher gross. So even though I increased the gross by 20% this time as opposed to the 15 in the last run, it kind of works out to be the same, at least in accuracy and evasion. Not to mention weapons are more accurate in this game to begin with. Yes, I think I get a little bit more experience if I actually do kill the archer here, and I don't think Nina will- not Nina, but Florida. She shouldn't be in any danger either way. Harkin, you're just gonna back off at this point. I don't want you- I don't want you getting killed by something weird. So we'll take out the archer, which should draw in like a Myrmidon or something like that. And Florida can get some nice last ditch chip. Uh, chip experience. What was that? Is that B or A? That's B. If somebody wants to spawn with a brave weapon, I mean, feel free. I could technically move Jafar here, but no, no, I couldn't. I technically could not do that at all. I'm gonna shut my mouth. <laughs> I mean, technically I could let him die. There's no reason that I can't. Zoldam doesn't move, so I feel pretty comfortable in doing this. Might as well just break this javelin. I just bought five, for crying out loud. Okay. And already, though, the experience rate is slowing down significantly. Javar should be, like, level 11, I do believe. And these enemies range anywhere from 6 to 8 at this point. Blah. Like I say, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> enemies are ranging from 6 to 8 at this point. And uh, on Elliewood, that's even worse. I think it's 4 to 6 or something like that, roughly. Not to mention, I believe that hard mode actually just gives you less experience by default. So, it's going to be important, I think, to really consider who I'm giving kills to at this point, just so we can get as much EXP as possible. Looks like this mercenary is coming around the long way, which could be a bit of a problem. How does Fiora do here? She only takes two. He has an iron sword, so she can keep doing this just fine. Florina is well, but my fear here is that I don't have very many Iron Lances, if at all. I did not stock up on enough of those, I guess. So I don't want to really break those. That's really Florina's only real attacking option. But if I use the Steel Sword, or the Steel Lance, she gets weighed down by 4, puts her to 9. She would get doubled by this Armor Slayer guy. That's 10 damage that I don't really want to take. 12 damage potentially that I don't really want to take. I think it's a little bit too much. I think so. Well, I can start by- Oh, what am I doing? I could have- I could have blocked off the mercenary in the south. Using Fiora and a hand axe. So that's on me. Will lightning strike a third time? Let's go. Hit points. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was not good. What I was saying though, I could have moved Fiora here, attacked the Pegasus Knight with a hand axe, which would mean this mercenary couldn't attack Fiora and I would feel much more comfortable in using this Steel Lance. So let's do the math. Wait, I don't get dumped? Oh, they're getting weighed down too! So yeah, this is totally safe then. Totally fine. I didn't consider that. I feel like that's going to be a really important aspect to watch. Especially with these really fast classes like Swordmasters. Oh yeah, they lose a respectable amount of speed from that. So let's start getting Nils down here, I guess. Anybody I can heal? Actually, no. Not at all. Oh, this is actually kind of bad. 
Let's see, 16 plus 16 would be a dead Nita. Although, if she does get hit... Yeah, if she gets hit, it's fine, because I can get Hawkeye down there. This is more of a problem. This is much more of a problem, actually. So maybe I don't attack with Nino. Can this guy finish me? No. They actually cannot. So this is no problem. Yeah, this is no problem. Let's do it. We can break this Iron Lance. Yvar is just breaking all of his weapons. Maybe I'm feeding him a little bit too much. I don't know. Definitely could have brought Vita on this map. Definitely could have brought her. Might have made things a little bit easier, but on the other hand... I think Jafar benefits from it a little bit more. Florina too. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about these nuts. Oh my gosh, Nino. I really wish she would have gotten hit there. I'll be honest. Uh, we'll move into position. Did I forget? No, 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 no. No, no, I, I was seeing that wrong. I thought I forgot to steal something, but no, we're fine. So we're all moved into position now. Unfortunately, can't get any EXP on Hawkeye here. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I could try to sound somebody, I guess. No. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. And we'll just dance with the gulp, just for the hell of it. And it's just... Harkin and Hawkeye who have not moved, so we're gonna end our turn. Okay, at least he hit Nino. At least he hit her. She didn't completely clown the guy. Strength, 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 strength. Hit point, strength! Yes! Oh, baby, she's gonna be so good! She's gonna be so good! I think I promoted Ray when he had about the same amount of strength, 15 or 16, but he actually bothered to get promotion gains. So, I don't know, I might stick it out for one more level. It might be in my best interest. Besides, when she kills the boss, she should end up with, like, uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot of experience. Oh, no. I've just realized Jafar's in range of that other Pegasus, isn't he? Oh, he is. <gasps> oh, thank God! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. If that guy had spawned with one more point of strength, I would be screwed. Like, I know that he only had a... an Iron Lance, because we saw that on the last wave, right? But that could have... <laughs> oh, man. If I would have had to reset after all these phenomenal level ups, I'd be really sad. I'd be really sad. What I can do here... Uh, Nino can't miss, right? With the Iron Sword? Nope, she can't miss. So what I can do, I can move Jafar here. Have him hang out for a second. We're going to heal him back. I guess just use the heal staff. It doesn't really matter. If there's any bonus experience that I could have gotten using the men's staff, it's not really enough for me to care. Swipe the guiding ring. That could be a uh, Nils level up. It is. All I really want to see is speed so that I don't have to do this again. Hit points res. Oh. I'm going to have to try and get him that last point of speed at some point. Definitely gonna have to do that. Because at least that way I would be able to steal en from uh, enemy thieves. Oh, I guess Jafar can just one-shot this guy. Well, there goes my old thing. Okay, strength. Somehow. <laughs> Hit points. Defense, though. He's literally just a flying general, guys. I love it. I love it. And Fiora, I guess she can probably get a kill here. No, 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 not the Devil Axe. Never the Devil Axe. We can just break this Hand Axe, I suppose. Uh, I, I'm feeling sketch, so I'm actually going to buy one more. Yeah, besides, Nino's going to promote soon, and she's going to go through those things like candy, so... I probably want a good supply, I would say. We can take out this one right here. And then Florina can get herself one last kill, I do believe. Who's the highest level up here? 
you are level 4, you are level 4 also, so it doesn't really matter. Let's break this javelin. Yeah, let's break the javelin. Just so I can get out of my inventory. And she's sitting right on the edge of another level up. Man, oh man. I don't even care. Her level up this map was so fantastic. If she can do that a few more times and maybe pick up the speed a little bit. She's going to cap it no matter what though. The speed cap for Wyverns is very low relative to how high her growth is. And I think that should be everything, right? Yeah. Let's wrap her up. Goodbye. It has been fun. Hell yeah, I possess this much. Do you know who I am? Say my name, bitch. I'm Nino. Remember the name. And like I say, if you kill the boss early, the map ends. So you don't necessarily have to plan on surviving the full 11 turns. And I do think maybe I could have gotten a little bit more EXP. But I kind of put myself in a position where I had to clear the map at that point. So it's like, whatever, really. That was a pretty fun map. I don't know how long that actually took. But everybody really contributed there, I feel like. And that's one of the cool things about randomizers. You get to use characters that you never really would, right? Uh, I don't usually use Fiora, like I said. So that was pretty fun. And it felt like everybody was doing stuff. Did you see Nils that map? My god, that little kid put in so much work. That kid did so much that map. I know he didn't really kill a whole lot, but he did kill something, which is impressive to me. Uh, let's see how long it's been, and then we can maybe go on. No, I think we're gonna end it here for this time, so yeah, maybe a little bit on the shorter side. Still had a lot of fun playing through this part. I really liked that map. I really liked that map. I think it benefited a lot from being a little bit tougher than normal. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you have made it this far, please consider leaving a like and or a comment. I always appreciate those guys. Anyways, until next time, I will catch you all later. Peace.